Your how was shy away, come to take the throne. To conquer world powers, bring Jake the home. I'm quarterbacking like Jake DeLone. Like Mount Rushmore, I got a face of stone. I want to start off by saying, Call Hala, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. That's all praises to the Heavenly Father through the through the um through his only begotten son who the word ignorantly called Jesus Christ. You know, we out here week in and week out to teach the so-called blacks and Latinos who they really are according um, to their heritage and according to the Heavenly Father, not these bywords and proverbs that these other nations then put on y'all. Now it's time to come back to the um Lord in truth and in spirit. And, and you know what I'm saying? And worship him in truth and in spirit. All right, that's what we out here to do. That's what we out here to teach you. So we had a guy talking about the Gentiles early. You know what I'm saying? That's their first thing to go through. Give me Matthew 12 and 18. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 12, verse 18. Behold, my servant. Behold, my servant. The Lord said his servant. Who is his servant? Who the world called Christ? Yahweh was shot, God. Shalom. Hey, man, man, man. Come over here. Come over here. She says something every week. All right, go ahead. It says, uh, Matthew 12 and 18. Behold, my servant, whom I have chosen. Uh, who the Lord have chosen, Yahweh Shah. Who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, man. Not this honky right here, man. Not John Travolta. That's not who who, who he talking about. That's not his servant. All right, go ahead. My beloved, in whom my soul is well pleased. Who his soul is well pleased. The Lord, the Heavenly Father, is well pleased in his son. Give me um, Micah 6 and 7, God. I will put my spirit uh -huh. upon him. But the Lord going to put his spirit upon him. So the Lord going to put his spirit upon who the world called Christ, God. And he shall show judgment. He shall show judgment. So they talking about the Gentiles getting salvation. But right here it's saying he's showing judgment to the Gentiles. Gentile. Yeah, so that lets you know right there, it got to be two different Gentiles. If this Gentile is getting a judgment, then the other Gentile getting salvation. Hey, sir, you got a question? Oh, no, I'm just checking out your oh, Okay, okay. You believe in the Bible? Say what? You believe in the Bible? Uh, that's a complicated question, but I mean, I've got my faith, yeah. You got your faith? What's your faith? I mean, I believe in God and Jesus. Oh, you believe in God and Jesus. Okay, look, let me show you something. Let me show you. Let's see if you really believe in them. Uh, give me John 14 and 13. Oh, no, nah, give me Sirach 32 and 24, my fault. No, this ain't no test. I'm just trying to show you if you really believe what you're going to do, God. It's the book of Sirach, chapter 32, verse 24. He that believeth in, in the Lord. He that believeth in the Lord. You say you believe, right? Go ahead. Takes heed to the commandments. Take heed to the commandments. Do you keep the Lord's commandments? Be honest. For the most part that I know of, yeah. No, so did you, did you keep the Day of Atonement? Not sure what that is. Yeah, so you're not sure. So that lets you know you're not keeping the commandments. Huh? Okay. All right. All right, so you can't really believe in the Lord. You, to, to believe in him, you got you to have an action. You know what I'm saying? Just to, like if you believe you want to be a world champion, it's going to be an action behind it, right? You're going to go to the gym. You're going to do this and that. So if you believe in the Lord, you got to do what he's saying do. Do what he say do. Right on. All right, so do you, do you, did you ever know the Lord hate according to the Bible? No, 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 I'm sorry. Well, you say you believe in Jesus, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who did he come for? Us as far as who? All right, let's see. Matthew 15 and 24. It's the book of Matthew. Hey, are you, are you, what's your ethnicity? Are you an Israelite? Uh, no. No, okay, okay. Irish. Okay, go ahead. It's the book of Matthew, chapter... What? Irish. Irish, okay, go ahead. Chapter 15, verse 24. Go ahead. But he answered and said... Uh -huh. He answered and said who the world called Christ. You believe in him, right? Uh -huh. He wouldn't lie with it. What? He wouldn't lie with it, so he telling no, no gal in his mouth, guy. I am not sent. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. To the house of Israel. You just said you're not an Israelite, so he was only sent for the Israelites. Oh, okay. well, that's right, man. You know, according to the Bible, you're an Edomite, man. You know what an Edomite is? No. Let me show you. Go Romans 9 and 13. Let me show you what an Edomite is. You give me Malachi um, 1 and 4. Let me show you what an Edomite is. Uh, this is Romans 9 and verse 13. Go ahead. As it is written. Jacob have I loved. Jacob have he loved. That's an Israelite. That's what Christ. Christ come out that stock. Go ahead. But Esau. But Esau. Which is an Edomite. Go ahead. Have I hated. Have he what? Hated. So the Lord hate Edomites. How you feel about the Lord hating you? You know the Irish had slaves. You know my favorite basketball player got an Irish last name. Tracy McGrady. Okay. Want to know why? Because he had an Irish slave on him. Had him. So what you think going to happen for you, for your people having... 
um, so-called blacks, so-called Haitians, and slavery. You think a judgment gonna happen? Uh, on me? Well, in, in, in totality. Totality? Yeah. I don't know if it works in totality. Hey, dude, give me um, Jeremiah 18 and 8. Jeremiah 18 and 8. And give me that in Genesis about the nation. You know what that says? If judge that nation. And that nation I should judge. Give me that that's, in that's Genesis. Nah, I got Jeremiah. Give me um, Genesis. Uh, yeah, Jeremiah 18, verse 8. Watch this, guys. If that nation, if, that what? Nation. If that nation, because according to the Bible, the Lord judged a nation. Like the Israelites. When we, we Just because you being righteous, if everybody else going off, you got to go in slavery too. Because the Lord deal with nations, God. Against whom I have pronounced turn from their evil. If they turn, if they turn from their evil, God, that nation, God. I will repent of the evil that I thought to do unto them. Thought to do unto them. So that whole nation got to repent. So your whole nation will have to repent for y'all wouldn't get the judgment that the Lord got for y'all. Okay. You think that's going to happen? 15, 14. I mean, no nah, it ain't gonna happen, man. It was really a rhetorical question, man. The Lord was being sarcastic. He know y'all whole nation not gonna repent. Uh, okay, I you know what I'm saying? He know that's not gonna happen. So he basically telling you, if you score, that's basically like, you a fan of basketball? Yeah. You know Michael Jordan, right? Uh, All right, I got you. That's just like telling the um, middle school, hey, if you score 30 points, if you stop Michael Jordan from scoring um, this whole game, I'll give you $100. You know that's a joke because you're not gonna stop Jordan. So boom, that's what the Lord basically giving you, giving you something that's not really going. He knows that you're not going to do. You know what I'm saying? What you want to say? Sir? No, I'm saying. Okay, so basically that's not going to happen. So for what the for what the Irish did to the Lord's chosen people, a judgment got to come. Okay. Don't you believe in karma? I mean, well, obviously, no. You don't? Why not? You don't believe if somebody keep doing some negative or doing some wrong, it's not going to come back on them? You think we just going to keep doing wickedness? And no, no, no type of justice. Well, okay, no justice is different than karma, but yeah. Okay, well, it's like in the same type of form. You feel me? Like if you do this, I can be saying. Yeah, you know, that's all I'm saying. Understand. So for what that, what you got, something? Let me show you Revelation 13 because the Irish had Haitian slaves, man. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Revelation 13, verse 10. Go ahead. He that leadeth into captivity, that nation. He that leadeth into captivity, go ahead. Shall go into captivity. Shall go into captivity. Boom. That's justice, right? Uh, Come on, be serious, bro. You gonna be honest with me? I'll be honest with you. Is I that don't, is don't that just? I mean, cause I know my family's in here. We have nothing to do. Yeah, then give me um, give me um, Sirach forty one and five here, ungodly yeah. father. And you give me. Let me show you Isaiah um fourteen to twenty one. Okay. Let me um. Give me um, nah, Job 27 and 14. I'm going to get your question, though, bro. Okay, okay. I'm going to get your question. Job 27 and 14. It's five. The children This is Go ahead. Watch this. Job 27 and 14. Yeah. Watch this. Let me show you something. Fourteen, go ahead. Come. This is Job twenty-seven and fourteen. If his children be multiplied, so like, verse thirteen. Uh -huh. This is the portion of a wicked man. The portion of a wicked man. You admit that the hours were wicked for having slaves, right? Well, yeah, it, it, That's it, wicked, it, right? Go ahead. With God uh -huh. and the heritage of oppressors. Of the heritage of oppressors. They have people slavery. That's oppression. Go ahead. Which they shall receive of, of the Almighty. Go ahead. If this children be multiplied, the children of the men that did our stop be multiplied, God. It is for the sword. It's for the what? The sword. It's for the sword. So the Lord let that let y'all the Caucasian race keep having kids just where it can be for the sword. And y'all can get a judgment for what your forefathers did. The same way we got we had to drink of the cup. Y'all got a drink of the cup. That's only right. All right, so All right, now what's your question? So what's, what's my salvation? Man? Your salvation? Yeah, what about you? <laughs> Give me, yeah. Uh, hey, according to this Bible, man. I'm just out of luck. You, hey, your, your salvation, let me show you your salvation. Right. Jeremiah 30 and 16. This your salvation is written in the Bible. Man. And give me, um, you got one that you think of? No, it's written in the Bible. All right. Jeremiah 30, verse 16. Right. Therefore, all they that devoured thee, shall be devoured and all thine adversaries uh, all that devoured thee shall be devoured God. every and the Irish played a part in that 
Well, Caucasians in the whole play the part. Y'all whole one nation. Y'all just split it up, ours. This is like saying a Jamaican, a Haitian, or. Well, like, what, or about, what about the, the people from Africa that are so like their own people? Oh, they did. Let me show you why they did that. Because they saw, I'm going to show you, they saw Prince Henry take the first slaves in the um, 14th century. So that's why they did it. Give me um, um, Proverbs 12 and 26, and you give me Jeremiah 5 and 23. Watch this. Let me show you why they did it. Because they saw Prince Henry do it. Okay. He took the first slaves from the okay, west yeah, coast of yeah, Africa, yeah. from Portugal. You know, the Portuguese was the vanguards of slavery. Watch this. So that's why our people start doing it. Watch this. The same way we do wicked stuff now. Okay. It's Proverbs 12 and 26. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. Yeah, the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. The Israelites was meant to be righteous. We was meant to do the right things. The Lord in place the spirit of us to do the right things, God. But the way of the wicked, the way of the wicked go ahead. seduces them. But the way of the wicked seduces them. So we saw y'all getting benefits off slavery. So we was like, ah, oh, we're going to put our own people in slavery, which is wicked. But guess what? Christ died for them, so they got a chance to repent and be converted. But Christ ain't died for y'all um, people, so y'all just got to deal with the judgment y'all got. Now, if our people repent, they can, they can, they got a chance to make it. Just like our people that gave up, that wanted Christ to be killed, and tell you in Acts 3, that he told them to repent and be converted. So if, even if our people did wickedness, they still got a chance. Your people, no chance. So we got the cheat code. Well, that's, okay. I mean, so that's you know, a cut I, on I, that guy. I respect your ability to. to, to you respect us. Let me show. I, I just do. don't necessarily agree with you. I know you don't agree with it because you're the wicked man. That's right. If you, of course, you. Don't, if I was up here telling you, love everybody, it's peace, everything gonna be good, you would agree with it. Okay. I know, but if, since I'm telling you the truth, your enemy because I speak of the truth. This the book of Daniel chapter. Chapter 12, verse 10. Many shall be purified and made white. But you're not white. You know white means pure. You're not pure, man. You're damn evil, man. Go ahead. And try it. But the wicked shall do wickedly. The wicked shall do wickedly. But the damn Irish did. All right? Conor McGregor, you see, can hang with Floyd Mayweather because we the chosen. Go ahead. And none of the wicked shall understand. None of the wicked shall understand. You're the wicked. You don't understand that you can't agree with it. You can't fathom what's going to happen to your people, man. That's fair. <laughs> I mean, I got you. I got you. What you got? Get, get, get up here too real fast. Hey, can you say, like, what's my salvation then? When we when we bring you up, matter of fact, get, get uh, Revelation 13 again, again. 13, uh, 13 and 10 again. And get Isaiah chapter 2, verse 2. When we bring y'all into captivity, that's going to be good for y'all because it's saving y'all from yourself. Because when y'all rule, when, when the so-called white man rules, what happens? We get this. We get all these businesses made off of slavery through, from us. You get... You, you get y'all poisoning your own food just to make more of it to sell to poison y'all some more. That's what happens when y'all rule. So when we rule, matter of fact, we don't even need to get that. When, when we rule, when it's our turn to rule over y'all, we'll have a righteous society. Aren't you tired of like wars being waged for no reason? Yeah, you don't like that. Watch this. Get, get this. the book of Isaiah, chapter two, verse two. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow unto it. That's talking about Israel being exalted above everybody. Go ahead. And many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of God, to the house of the God of Jacob. And he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law. What's going to come from us, the law, statute, commandments of God, to teach people in righteousness. What's, what's getting taught by America isn't righteousness. Nah. Homosexuality isn't righteousness <laughs> at all. What, the, what Americanism isn't righteousness. Do whatever you want ism isn't righteousness. But we're going to teach righteousness when we have y'all in captivity and we're in rulership. That's right. Right. And the word of the Lord from Jerusalem, and he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people, yeah. and they shall beat their swords into plowshares yeah. and their spears... <clears throat> Into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift a sword against nation. Neither shall they learn war anymore. So when we're in rulership, or ruling over y'all and pretty much everybody else, there's not going to be any war anymore. That's over with. You say you don't like wars. You, you, you say there's wickedness everywhere. That All that stops when we get the rule over y'all. That's your salvation. You get saved from yourself. Because y'all are trying to kill yourself and everybody else. 
you have to admit that the so-called white man is matter of fact the so-called white man trying to walk outside of his house with a bright sun in texas is trying to kill himself because it's, it's, it's 30 seconds 10 seconds you walking out of your house you get burnt see look i'm just saying y'all 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 happily kill yourself every day y'all have a death wish <laughs> So what well, we're out here to tell you, when we, the, the black, Hispanic, Native Americans, the true children of Israel, when we rule, it's going to be righteous rulership. That's y'all's salvation. Hey, I can dig it, man. Yeah, but what comes with that is y'all got to serve slavery, though. You, you, can't, you can't get away from that. You can't get around that. So well, well, I just hope... When oh, that what? Comes, man, take it easy on me. Take it easy on you. Give me Lazarus. Give me um Lazarus and Luke. Let me show you what you want. Give me um what's that in Luke? What does La um Luke what? I'm gonna show you why he wanted evil. See, you said take it easy on him, right? Give me that in Lazarus. But Lazarus wanted the same thing. This is uh this is Luke chapter 16, verse 24. And he cried and said, he cried and said, Esau, man. Father Abraham, because we got the same forefather. You a Hebrew, but you a Hebrew Edomite. We the Hebrew of Hebrews. We a Hebrew Israelites, man. Have mercy on Have what? Have mercy. Have mercy on you. You want mercy, huh? Go ahead. And send Lazarus. And send Lazarus uh -huh. that he may dip the tip of his finger in water. In water, go ahead. And cool my tongue. And cool your tongue. Basically, y'all captivity gonna be like a furnace. It's gonna be like heat. So y'all gonna want a little mercy from us because we got the same forefather. But you're not getting it. You want peace, right? Don't you want peace? I mean, yeah. All right, go ahead. This is Isaiah 48 and 22. There is no peace. There is no what? Peace. Go ahead. Said the Lord. Said the Lord. Go ahead. Until the wicked are wicked. No peace for you, man. No peace. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Let me see what Abraham said. But Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receivest thy good things. You receive your good things. The IRS took slaves, y'all didn't benefit off of you, stole land. Y'all had good time. That's what Abraham gonna tell y'all. I mean, during y'all lifetime, y'all had a good thing. We was at the bottom. Tracy McGrady gotta walk around with an Irish last name. Y'all having fun. Go ahead. And likewise, Lazarus. And likewise, Lazarus, go ahead. Evil thing. Evil thing. So evil things happen to us. We got raped, robbed, and murdered. So boom, it's gonna be your turn soon, God. But now he is comforted. Uh, now he is Now we gonna be comforted because the Lord gonna take away our soul, God. And thou art tormented. And you are tormented, God. And beside all this, uh -huh. between us and you, between us and you, there is a great goal fixed. Yeah, that's a great goal fixed, God. So that they which would pass from hence uh -huh. to you cannot. Cannot. That's it on that. Hey, why you, you wearing them around here, man? These. I do can. What the hell out of here, <laughs> Well, who dog you walking, bro? That's my dog. That's your dog. Yeah, hey. Butters. His name what? Butters. <laughs> Butters. Give me 1230 on him and the dog, man. <laughs> oh, no, hey, no, 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 no. All right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is one more for you, man, because you don't even need to be around that dog. What? Give me Joe 30. Who got Joe 30? Oh, you can't really turn like this. Watch this. You said what? <laughs> what you tell him? You hear that? <laughs> I said, yeah, you hear that? You funny, bro. Don't tell him that. Don't give him any ideas. Luke 6, 25. He's smiling a lot. Yeah, Job 30. It's right. It's up. This is, it might be at the beginning of this. Job 31. Job 31? Yeah, Job 31. Okay. Right, it's the book of Job, chapter 30, verse 1. Uh -huh. But now they that are younger than I uh -huh. have me in derision. <laughs> Whose fathers I would have this day to have set with the dogs of my flock. With the what? Dogs of my flock. Look, Job ain't even want y'all to sit with the dogs in his flock, man. <laughs> but that's like, y'all don't need to be around the dogs, man. When y'all around the dogs, all type of wickedness happen, man. Bestiality. Y'all lay bestiality, laying with the... Huh? That peanut butter come out. <laughs> y'all talking about Mike Vick? <laughs> they talking about Mike Vick was bad with the dog. You damn honkies are bad with the dogs, man. All right? Uh, y'all don't do a lot of bestiality. <laughs> you can't do better. Give me Luke 6. All right, one more, man. One more. Luke 6. Luke 6, verse 25. Woe unto you that are full. Woe unto you that are full, guy. For ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now. You're laughing under your COVID um, mask, guy. For you shall mourn and weep. You shall mourn and weep because you're going to catch COVID-20 and die. And I'm going to piss on your grave, man. That's right. I'm going to make a paper plane out of your obituary. All right. 
You hear me? So let me know when that happens. I hope you set some records with that distance flight, man. Nah, you said, I hope you go far, right? Hey, set some, set some records with what? I said, I hope you go far with that flight. With that flight? Yeah, you can set some records with it when you throw it. Oh, when, oh, it's a bitch Okay, yeah, like yeah, it. okay. Like he funny, bro. He funny. Put me in the book. All right, we'll bet, man. Hey, look, just get ready for slavery. All Tell right. a good old Irishman they ass going into slavery, man. All right? All right, I'll let him know. You the messenger, man. I'll let him hey, know. see, you said messenger, bro. You the messenger, bro. You the messenger, bro. You the messenger, Has no mercy on you. Huh? What you say? I said, don't shoot the messenger. All right, I got you. All right, bet. I got you, man. All right, man. All right, boy, I'll holler at you. Yeah, y'all have a good night. All right. That was good. That was two for two. That was fun. What you have? I had a joke. Oh, go to um, go to Sarek 41. Back when we all told you to start it. Maybe five. Yeah, that guy was funny. He got some soft hair. Go ahead. This Job chapter 41 verse 6. The inheritance of sinners shall uh. uh the inheritance of sinners' children, verse 5, the children of sinners, yeah, the children of sinners go ahead. are abominable children. Yeah, abominable children, man. He's an abominable child, um, child, man. He admitted it. He said he'll do better. Now that I know how to do it, but I'll do better. Yeah, yeah, I'll do better, guys. And they that are conversant in the dwelling of the ungodly, go ahead. the inheritance of sinners' children uh -huh. shall perish. Shall what? Perish. Go ahead. And their posterity uh, shall have a perpetual reproach. Yeah, their prosperity gonna have a perpetual reproach. So everything Esau have got is gonna be a perpetual reproach. Because basically everything they got, they gonna give it to us. To tell you that in Isaiah, everything they got, we gonna take it in, man. That's ours. Because the Lord made the world for our sake, man. God. The earth for our sake. God. Uh, verse six. The, uh, oh, verse seven. It's a lot. Verse seven. The children will complain. The children will complain just like he was complaining. Go ahead. Of an ungodly father. What? Ungodly father. Because they shall be reproached for his sake. Because they will be reproached for his sake. Hey, how you doing, bro? Come here, come here. You believe in the Bible? Huh? You don't believe in the Bible, huh? Why not, man? Come to me. I know you from somewhere, bro. You the came by before, ain't you? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, and so... The, the children go complain of an ungodly father. He looked familiar. That's why I knew I knew. Why you got a chance? Why you doing this? Disagree with you. I guess it's ain't black it's, it's like this, bro. It's like this with this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, y'all ain't messing with the Esau boys? Don't throw it away. Oh, the truck ain't here no more? I'm just like, they couldn't make that truck. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. They probably told him. Give me a little bit more. I'm gonna give you that. I'm gonna give you that. Oh, dang, I wanted to go in Matthew. Give me Matthew. Uh, man, you can't really turn. You can't even read it. I can't really turn. I'm about to step back. Mr. All Reader, man. 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 No, really, I can't turn over. Yeah. <laughs> nah, Michael 6 and 7. Yeah, well, Come so back to these and not touch your fingers so you can read. Ain't no unity with your hands. <laughs> 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 oh, man, video. <laughs> he snapped on the video, dude. This is the book of Micah. Chapter 6, verse 7. Go ahead. Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams? Yeah, the, the Bible says, will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams? Will he be pleased? Go ahead. Or with 10,000 of rivers of oil? Or with 10,000 rivers of oil? Go ahead. Shall I give my firstborn? Should he give his what? Firstborn. Yeah, so the Lord gave his firstborn, man. So that's a cut for anybody saying, where is that in the Old Testament where the Lord will give his son to die for you, God? Uh, shall I give my firstborn for my transgression? Uh, for my transgression, God. The fruit of my body. For the sin of my soul, he has shewed thee, O man, what is good, and what doth the Lord require of thee. What the Lord requires so-called blacks, Latinos, Native, and Seminole Indians out here. To come back in righteousness and rehearse the righteous acts to your best ability. That's what the Lord requires, all right? That's what the Lord requires, y'all. Go ahead. Oh, but to do... Hey, hey, sir, you believe in the Bible? Yep. Hey, come here, let me ask you something. How you doing today? All right. You give me, um, oh, then give me Leviticus um, 18 and 21. It might be 21 and 18. Okay. Hey, oh, so you believe in Christ? Oh, sir. Do you believe? You believe on him. 
Alright, give me South Rank 32. You a center? Alright, give me the first three eight. Let's see. Hey, you're an honest man. That's what the Lord requires, somebody to come honest and letting them know, you know what I'm saying? That's what the Bible tells you. Yeah, just one step back. Just good. That's it. It's the book of first John, chapter three, verse eight. Yeah, you got your mask, man. Okay, good. First John three and eight. You say you're a sinner, right, God? He that committed sin, you committed sin, right? Go ahead. Is of the devil. Of the what? Devil. The devil. So what you gonna do about that? The Lord said he that committed sin is of the devil. You're gonna try to be a better person. You're gonna try to be a better person. How you gonna do that? How you gonna fix what you're doing wrong? Ask the grace that you need. Give me um, give me, <laughs> give me some right thirty two. Hey, good, it's a good answer, man. So do you think the Holy Spirit dealing with you? I hope so. You hope so? Okay, let's see. Let's see if you're an honest man. So if you're an honest man, let's see if the Holy Spirit dealing with you. Right. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 32, verse uh, 24. You believe on the Lord, right? Go ahead. He that believeth in the Lord, taketh heed to the commandment. Taketh heed to the commandments, go ahead. And he that trusteth in him, trusteth in him go ahead. Sh shall fare never the worse. Which fare never the worse. So if you believe on the Lord, you got to take heed to the commandments. Let me guess, you pray a lot, huh? But you pray though. You a sinner, right? Yep. Let me show you some John 9 and 31. Let me show you some right. This is the book of John, chapter. This is John chapter 9, verse 31. Go ahead. Now we know uh -huh. that God hears not sinners. Lord hear what? Not sinners. So the Lord don't hear sinners. So the only way He gonna hear you, you gotta come back and start doing what you're supposed to do. Alright? Who did Christ come for? All of us. All of y'all. Give me Acts 5 and 29. We gotta get going. Alright, I got I got two more scriptures, alright? Right. Two more. You hold it. And after this scripture, I got one more. This is Acts chapter 5, verse 29. Go ahead. Then Peter uh -huh. and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. Go ahead. The God of our fathers uh -huh. raised up Jesus. Raised up Jesus, you agree, right? Go ahead. Who you slew uh -huh. and hanged on a tree. Uh -huh. Him has God exalted uh -huh. with his right hand uh -huh. to be a prince, yeah, prince. And, a and a savior. For to give repentance. Uh -huh. To Israel, not everybody. Israel, you only die for the Israelites. And forgiveness of sin. That's in the Bible. Nah. What the? So he lying right there. He lying. No, I think we just taking it out of context. You break it down. Break it down. Just go to the Bible. Tell me what it means. Tell me what it means. Can you tell me what it means? Read the Bible. Listen. Okay. You what? I'm Catholic, so we don't study the Bible. I know y'all don't study the Bible, man. Y'all don't study none, man. Y'all don't study the Bible. Why y'all study is how to be with little boys, man. That's what y'all study. You saying that's... So, do, do the Catholic Church deal with pedophilia? Has it been a lot of pedophilia in the Catholic Church running rampant? A long time ago. A long time ago. Uh, what, what, last week? Uh, what is this guy talking hey. about? A long time ago. So it, it, about a week ago. About a week ago. Come on, man. Be serious. Be. If you want to be honest, the I'll, Lord I'll have a lot of pedophilia been running rampant in the Catholic Church. But are they? Do they run rampant in Catholicism? They run rampant everywhere. In Catholicism. No, every church, every church has them. But Catholicism, no, they're the forefront. Every Catholic church. Every, every Catholic church, y'all the forefront. Every church has them, and we all have to be vigilant to make sure that they, they, they don't be alone with our children. <laughs> okay. Yeah. How's your kids? 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 How's Ain't that a Catholic school in the state? Nope. It's not. Nope. 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 Well, the, well, the, the Catholic Church just had a big charge, like last year, of like nope. raping a little boy. <laughs> Catholic Church child sexual abuse scandal. Look at the year. Look at the year. Look at the year. February 2019. Nah, a long time ago. I told you. Yeah, don't believe it. All right, one more scripture. All right, so the book of Leviticus, chapter 21, verse 18, says, For whatsoever man. He be that hath a blemish, uh -huh. he shall not he shall not approach a blind man or a lame, or he that hath a flat nose, uh -huh. or anything super villain. Go ahead, keep going. It says, or a man that is broken footed, Go ahead. or broken handed, or cock or cock bite, or a dwarf, or uh, what? Or a dwarf, or uh, what? Or a dwarf, Go ahead. or a, that hath a blemish in his eye, <laughs> or be swervy, or scowled, or has his stones broken. Yeah, so they couldn't come in the damn temple, man. That's right. Dwarfs, man. 
That's a prison. <laughs> I thought I wanted you to go. I didn't know you knew. I thought you knew what was in there. I want you to go straight to that. <laughs> but Khan, yeah, give me um. You see that guy? What did he, what did he just say? I got up. Yeah, they are. Hey, what's good? Hey, come on. Y'all sis, come holler at me. Y'all believe in the Bible? Come here, come here, come here, come here. Hey, y'all better repent and be converted, all right? Y'all got to come back to the Lord. Y'all the chosen people, all right? You believe that? So you got to repent, all right, of what you're doing wrong. Go ahead. Hey, look, look. What your shirt say? Stop killing us. Ain't you tired of being killed out here? Well, come here. You got to come back to the Lord. That's the only way you're going to stop being killed. He don't want that. Yeah, we can talk to him a lot of times. Remember he said the camera and stuff. What I tell you to get? I don't know, man. We done went so. Hey, with that, I want to say Shalom and call Halal Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shem.